Yes, anyone answer it? How you are going to define the term health? The state uh, of state socially, of... mentally, and physically well being is called health. Yes, very good, Kanvi. Kanvi, health is a condition in which a person is physically, mentally, and socially well. Then we consider that person as healthy. This is the definition of WHO. Ye WHO ka definition hai. Yes, very good. You people are writing in chat box also. So if a person is socially, mentally, and physically healthy, okay, then we call that person as healthy. This is the definition of health. Now, what are the conditions which are required for remaining healthy? Kaun -kaun se conditions hai, jo ki healthy rehne ke liye zaruri hai. What are the conditions which is required for being healthy? Yes, anyone? On kaun se condition hone chahiye jisse ki hum log healthy rahenge? What are the conditions? Many conditions are there which uh, we can add in this. Anyone? Can you tell me what are the condition which is necessary for remaining healthy? Yes, anyone? Tell me the answer. Zareen, you can, can you answer? Zareen, answer de sakti ho. What are the conditions which is necessary for remaining healthy? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Answer it. Ways to get healthy, balanced and varied diet, exercise, living in proper shelter, enough sleep, maintaining a good hygiene. Very good. Yes, Jareen. See, very uh, nicely she answered the question, what are the conditions essential for remaining healthy? If we are maintaining our personal, we can say um, personal hygiene, we should focus on our personal hygiene, then uh, public cleanliness should be also there, okay? And we should keep our surrounding clean. We are taking a balanced diet. So all these things, better sanitation, availability of clean drinking water, and availability of adequate and nutritious food, then a social equality and harmony that is also necessary for remaining healthy. So these are the conditions which can which we can put in uh, the conditions uh, which is required for remaining healthy. Now, what do you mean by the term disease free? Anyone? What is the meaning of the term disease free? Yes, disease free ko kaise hum log define karenge? If we are feeling comfortable, then we say that we are disease free. Agar hum log ko comfortable feel hota hai, to hum log kehte hai ki we are disease free. But if we are going to distinguish both the term healthy and disease free, healthy or disease free, ko agar hum log distinguish karte hai, to kaise differentiate karenge? Healthy means it is a state of physically, socially, and mentally well-being, whereas disease-free is a state of absence of any disease and uh, our cell, tissue, and organ are properly working, then we say that uh, we are healthy. Hum log healthy kab apne aap ko bolte hai? If we are feeling, uh, if we are physically, mentally, and socially well. But if uh, we are saying disease-free, it means that we are feeling comfortable. Okay, so this is the difference between these two terms, remaining healthy and disease-free. Now, what are the conditions which are necessary for remaining disease-free? Again, the condition which you people have taken, that can be added into this. Is maybe wo conditions lagu kar sakte ho. Okay, what are the conditions which are necessary for remaining disease-free? So taking of proper diet, then um, uh, physical exercise, that is important. Uh, then uh, we can say personal hygiene we should maintain. So these things can be added in this one also. Now next question is uh, why do we fall ill? When we considered ourselves uh, that we are suffering from anything, why? Uh, what are the reasons behind falling ill? Yes, anyone? Four or five points I think I have explained to you people. Why do we fall ill? Anyone? Tell me all the points. Arushi, can you tell me what are the points? Do you remember? Yes, ma'am. Ma yes, why do we fall? Direct physical contact, bad balance, 
bad uh, personal hygiene um, four five points i have already explained to you people can you tell me not doing it? exercise not taking proper diet get in contact with sick person yes many reasons can be written why do we fall ill but uh, already i i we community yes already rokita do you remember i explained to you people that we fall ill due to um, improper functioning of organ in our body we yes, fall ma. ill due to genetic disorders if some genetic problem is there in, from one generation it is passing to next that's why we people fall ill we fall ill due to deficiency of minerals or vitamins in our body that is deficiency diseases and uh, we people fall ill due to microorganisms which are spreading infection do you remember all these points ye points tum logo ko yaad hai why do we fall ill to hum log bimar padte hain iska maine bahut sare points mein answer bataya tha okay. so we can say that we, we people are falling ill due to uh, some genetic factor or due to improper functioning of the body parts body tissues organs and we can say that due to lack of nutrients in our body we may fall, fall ill another thing uh, microorganisms are mainly responsible for spreading infectious diseases that's why we people fall ill if we are not uh, taking a, a good diet okay then also people may fall ill any more reason due to uh, we can say improper functioning of uh, hormones in our body people may fall ill say if um, yes yes due to genetic disorder due to pathogen due to lack of nutrient very good roshan and uh, we can also say due to hormonal Im imbalance we people may fall ill agar properly hormones secrete nahi hue body mein to bhi hum log bimar padte hain so all these points can be we can add in this that why do we fall ill kyun hum log bimar padte hain isme ye sare points ko hum log uh, add kar sakte hain theek hai मोर रीजन और कोई रीजन इसमें ऐड कर सकते हो यस एनी वन डू यू थिंक यू कैन ऐड एनी मोर पॉइंट इन दिस वन और कोई पॉइंट और इट इज इट एन एफ आई थिंक मेनी पॉइंट वी पीपल हैव डिस्कस्ड it is malfunctioning of uh, immune system okay uh, oh, hypo or hyper secretion of hormones agar hormone jyada secrete ho gaye to bhi agar kam secrete hue to bhi we people may fall ill one more factor is there of falling ill do you remember environmental pollution that is also responsible for lung related diseases Okay, so if we uh, someone asks you that why we people fall ill, you can uh, add all these things, all the points in that one. That uh, we people may fall ill due to malfunctioning or improper functioning of body organs in our uh, body, and uh, we may fall ill due to genetic factor, due to uh, imbalance of hormone in our body. We people may fall ill. We people may fall ill if our body resistivity is low. Okay. Uh, so all these things can be due to environmental pollution due to microorganism many points can be added in this one now next one when we are talking about um, what are the cause of diseases what you people will say what are the important cause of diseases yes anyone cause of disease when we people are searching then what are the cause of diseases how you are going to explain it yes anyone koi bhi explain karo kaise explain karoge cause of any, disease yes any physical or functional change from the normal state that cause disease okay when we are searching the cause of disease what is the cause primary cause and contributory cause we will search okay जब हम लोग कॉज ऑफ डिजीज को खोजते हैं तो पहले प्राइमरी कॉज ऑफ द डिजीज मींस व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग ड्यू टू विच दैट डिजीज ऑफ एंड देन व्हेन वी पीपल गो ऑन सर्चिंग द कंट्रीब्यूटरी कॉजेस ओके डू यू रिमेंबर दिस थिंग्स प्राइमरी कॉज एंड कंट्रीब्यूटरी कॉज कैन यू गिव एग्जाम्पल माधवी क्या कोई एग्जाम्पल दे सकती हो अबाउट टेकिंग एनी डिजीज 
primary cause and contributory cause already i think uh, this one i have explained to you people do you remember what are the primary cause of a disease what is the contributory cause any disease you may take and then you answer it yes anyone tanvi romita can you give answer primary cause and contributory cause what are the cause of diseases Do you remember? Bacteria. Yes. And bacteria. Which disease you are taking? If you are talking about bacteria, which disease you are talking and uh, taking? Yes. Anyone? No one remember about primary cause and contributory causes. One common cold. no no i am asking about how you are going to explain the term primary cause and contributory cause taking example of any disease koi bhi ek disease le lo any infectious disease you take and then how you are going to explain it i simply want to know is first gen can you answer it is first gen kya answer de sakta hai that's why i am asking uh, today i have started again why do we feel uh, fall in chapter mujhe lag raha tha ki tum log jo hai usko bhul chuke ho yes anyone primary cause and contributory causes do you remember any disease you take the example of any disease and then how we are going to find out its primary cause and secondary causes yes loose motion loose motion is the name of disease yes that is given in ncert book and a loose motion uh, how we are you are going to explain it roshan kaise explain karoge kaise explain karoge usko how you are going to explain it yes in your own word see when we are taking the example of loose motion okay that is caused due to microorganism so oh, how we are going to find out the primary cause suppose in a locality there are a number of children of the same age group okay and if one children from that locality is suffering from loose motion then how we are going to find out the primary and secondary causes okay so primary cause we are going to find out by what is the primary cause that is primary cause is the microorganism which is causing loose motion so the primary cause when we are going to find out that why particular child in the locality is suffering from loose motion so primary cause is the microorganism then we are going on we go on finding out the contributory causes so why that microorganism infected the child how through which means it come to his or her body then we are going to answer it through impure drinking water so if impure drinking water is the reason then the next question arises why not other child of the same locality of the same age group okay those who are consuming that impure water then why not others are infected okay then we are going to answer that the body resistivity of that particular child is low so this is the contributory cause which we people are talking about means his immune system is weak his body resistivity is weak that's why that particular child is suffering not the other of the same age group from that locality okay so the primary cause is microorganism when we are go on searching the contributory causes the contributory cause is the body resistivity as the body resistivity of that particular child is low that's why the microorganism attack on his body and that particular child is suffering from loose motion then we are going to find out another question uh, we are seeking out uh, another answers that why his body resistivity is low then the an answer which uh, we people find out is uh, body resistivity is low because there is lack of nutrient there is deficiency of nutrient in the body of that particular child means proper nutrition is not given to that child that's why body resistivity is low contributory causes are these okay why body resistivity is low then we go on finding out the root cause that is the um, uh, we can say economic condition okay so 
here we are going to find out the primary cause and the secondary causes what are the primary cause why that suffer due to microorganism this is the first answer now what are the other things which is um, responsible that that particular child is suffering not the other तो इस तरह से हम लोग फाइंड आउट करते हैं कि क्या कॉज था डिजीज का ओके नेक्स्ट अगेन इन एनसीआरटी बुक अगेन वन थिंग इज गिवन अबाउट टाइप ऑफ डिजीजेस डू यू टेल मी व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिजीजेस बेस्ड ऑन टाइम ड्यूरेशन इफ यू वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द टाइम पीरियड बेस्ड ऑन टाइम पीरियड यस एक्यूट एंड क्रॉनिक डिजीज एक्यूट एंड क्रॉनिक वेरी गुड तनवी Uh, Ayush, can you tell me what is the difference between acute and chronic diseases? You go on telling the answer in point. Ayush, Ayush, this is a very easy question, and I think you people are answering this question right uh, from the. Um, I, I think uh, in the um, when we people have started this chapter, um, then. we people are discussing about acute and chronic diseases okay so ayush can you answer ayush what is the difference between acute and chronic diseases ayush can you give me answer sparsh jain sparsh jain can you answer it very easy question this is ye bahut easy question hai that you have to uh, and uh, i think uh, in weekly test also this question is given so can you differentiate between the term acute and chronic boys anyone no one yes ma'am yes tell me roshan acute disease which lasts for only very short period of time yes very and good disease, and chronic disease the disease which lasts for long period of time yes very good this is the first difference between these two now when we are talking about some more differences what you are going to add in this aur kya kya add kar sakte hain acute or chronic mein the types of diseases ki baat kare to ma'am acute disease affect body suddenly and quickly you do not say okay then second one chronic chronic disease uh... yes now girls you try girls anyone ma'am from acute disease a person recovers completely very good yes from acute disease a person recovers completely good answer then and from chronic disease a person may or may not recover completely very good tanvi next any more point you can add in this arushi can you tell me all the differences arushi tell me all the differences yes ma'am acute is for a disease for example typhoid common cold and the chronic disease for example cancer diabetes okay see when we people are going to differentiate between acute and chronic disease first point of differentiation which we people will write is the acute disease last for a shorter period of time whereas chronic disease last for longer period of time sometime during the whole lifetime means uh, we can say uh, as much as lifetime so oh, acute disease will last for short period of time whereas chronic disease last for longer time sometime the whole life of a person uh, he or she may suffer from chronic disease second acute disease has not long term effect on health agar acute disease hoga to health pe uska zyada long term effect nahi hoga lekin agar chronic disease hoti hai to chuki ye bimari bahut lambi uh, jayegi to isliye us हेल्थ जो है एफेक्टेड होता है तो एक्यूट डिजीज हैज लॉन्ग टर्म हैज नो लॉन्ग टर्म इफेक्ट ऑन हेल्थ बट क्रॉनिक डिजीज हैज लॉन्ग टर्म इफेक्ट ऑन हेल्थ दैट यू कैन ऐड इन दिस नेक्स्ट वन 
in acute disease there is no any weight loss of the person but in chronic disease there will be weight loss ओके क्रॉनिक डिजीज में वेट लॉस होगा लेकिन एक्यूट डिजीज में वेट लॉस नहीं होगा इन एक्यूट डिजीज अ पर्सन कैन रिकवर बट इन क्रॉनिक डिजीज इट मे बी पॉसिबल दैट पर्सन नेवर रिकवर समटाइम बिकॉज वी आर सेइंग दैट इट इज लास्ट फॉर इट लास्ट फॉर होल लाइफ सो इट मे बी पॉसिबल दैट the person never recover completely so we are going to add in this one and then we put some examples now i think it is clear to you all kya ye clear hua tum logon ko when we are talking about these two disease the acute and chronic we can write many differences in this okay so one is going to affect our day to day activity in acute diseases our daily activity is not that much hampered as compared to the chronic disease chronic disease has long term effect and uh, our work will be affected due to that disease okay so and there will be no doubt there will be more uh, money will will be needed to overcome the, uh, the problem of chronic disease okay so these things can be added into this one now next one if we are talking about whether the disease is uh, restricted to that person or it is spreading to other based on that we can say that two types of disease are there that is infectious and non infectious now any one of you differentiate these two infectious and non infectious diseases yes anyone koi bhi isko differentiate karo infectious or non infectious ko is first jan you were hearing me first jan is not answering anything first jan kya answer de sakte ho no ma'am no why why is there any problem is first i know you personally that's why i am asking is there any problem in uh, in uh, infectious and non infectious disease how you are going to explain it as explain karoge Tell me, first Jan. First Jan, answer it. Koshish to karo. First Jan, just try. Roshan, you try. Roshan is there. Yes, Roshan, you try. Yes, ma'am. Yes, infectious and non-infectious. Infectious disease. disease group of cause is the it infectious disease mostly microbes or microbes organism cause cause are called infectious disease is it a perfect answer roshan nine ke students say ye answer respect karna you people are not giving answer correct okay now next anvi you try to answer it anvi anvi yes, infectious and non infectious yes infectious disease transmitted through person to person okay very good on the other hand non infectious disease cannot be transmitted through pathogens Okay. Anything more? Okay, Romita, you try to answer. Romita. Romita, you try to answer. Ma'am, repeat the question, please. What is the difference between infectious and non-infectious diseases? infectious disease are the communicable disease and an infectious and uncommunicable diseases infectious disease gets spread by one person to another yes non infectious disease does not communicate to each other communicate is it a correct word ramita non infectious disease do does not, not get spread yes does not get spread um 
disease or, where microbes are immediate cause are called infectious disease yes they are mainly caused by the pathogens and non infectious may be due to other reason rather than pathogen okay genetic or genetic or deficiency factors yes very good yes very good you are answering it correctly see infectious disease in infectious disease when we people are talking about it is a communicable disease means it is passing from infected person to healthy person okay and mainly this disease are due infectious disease are due to microorganisms means microbes are responsible pathogens are responsible for spreading the disease and it can spread from infected person to healthy person and we can say infection is spreaded either through direct contact or through indirect contact but in non infectious disease what we come to know that this is due to the internal factor maybe deficiency of something in our body is responsible for this disease or due to genetic factor this particular disease come in um, or due to some um, hormonal imbalance disease arise in the body means that disease is restricted to that person only it is not going to pass to other okay and uh, here pathogens are not involved in spreading the non infectious um, pathogens are not involved in non infectious disease when we people are talking about and uh, non infectious disease it is uh, restricted to that person only that's why it is called non communicable so these are the things uh, which we can add in the differentiation of infectious and non infectious diseases these are the types of diseases which we people are talking about now two more terms are there one is called congenital another one is called acquired now do you remember these two term two types of disease one is present right from the birth of person that is called congenital disease another one when a person suffer after birth the type of disease is called acquired so these two terms we are using congenital and acquired now what are the means of spread of diseases yes anyone what are the different means of spread of disease disease can be transmitted through Tell me, anyone? Do you know the answer? Means of a spread about direct transmission and indirect transmission. Yes, any one of you can answer it. How the disease are transmitting? Microorganism. Microorganism. No, not microorganism. I am asking. I am asking about the means of a spread. How the disease is spreading? When we are talking about direct contact and indirect contact. indirect transmission or direct transmission direct transmission occurs through yes physical contact physical contact then sexual contact yes direct transmission it occur through physical contact then we can say directly through the microorganism physical contact or so, uh, sexual contact okay uh, these diseases are transmitted or through animal by directly the animal bites us and that is transmitted now indirect transmission indirect transmission ma'am air, air water soil yes air water these are the indirect or through vectors we can say these are the Uh, ways to transmit um, ways of tra uh, indirect transmission now next uh, is when a microorganism enter through our nose what is the targeted organ that it is going to affect kaun se targeted organ ko ye affect karega ma'am lungs lungs ko okay so if the disease causing agent is entering through the air via nose they are likely to go to the lungs and it is going to infect that organ now before moving on to this topic organ specific and tissue specific i want to know from you people that what is the difference between sign and symptom when we are talking about symptoms of a disease or sign of a disease what is the difference between these two words yes anyone 
साइन और सिम्टॉम ये दोनों वर्ड के बीच में क्या डिफरेंस है एनी वन मी और आई एम गोइंग टू कॉल योर नेम यस सर वेरी फ्यू आर देयर सो इफ यू नो द आंसर जस्ट आंसर इट साइन एंड सिम्टॉम दोनों में डिफरेंस बताओ तो क्या लिखोगे मैम मे आई गिव द आंसर यस a symptoms indicates that something is wrong abnormal in the body yes symptoms are problems felt and noticed by patient very good uh, example headache toothache yes and sign provide and provide information of uh, possibility of a partic particular disease indications which are diagnosed by doctor a uh, high blood pressure example yes see a uh, sign tell us uh, symptom tell us that we are suffering from some sort of disease but exactly which disease we people are suffering we do not know but sign what it is the, going to give it is indicating that we are suffering from a which from which particular disease we people are suffering so it is giving us the complete uh, information about the presence of a particular disease वो एक पर्टिकुलर डिजीज की ओर इंडिकेट करता है कि कौन से पर्टिकुलर डिजीज से हम लोग सफर कर रहे हैं जबकि सिम्टॉम इंडिकेट करता है कि दैट वी पीपल आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम डिजीज बट विच डिजीज वी डू नॉट नो बिकॉज वी नो दैट द सिम्टॉम्स ऑफ मेनी डिजीज आर नियरली सिमिलर अगर एक तरह के डिजीज को लो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी आर टेकिंग मलेरिया एंड टाइफॉइड तो द सिम्टॉम इज वी कैन सेम इट इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम ऑलमोस्ट सेम सिम्टम्स जो है हम लोगों को देखने को मिलता है बॉडी में सो सिंपली बाय ऑब्जर्विंग द सिम्टम वी कैन नॉट गेस दैट वी आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम विच डिजीज बट साइन गिव अस अ कंप्लीट इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ पर्टिकुलर डिजीज एंड साइन बाय स्टडिंग द साइन डॉक्टर बाय साइन अ डॉक्टर सेज से टू अस दैट फ्रॉम विच पर्टिकुलर डिजीज वी पीपल आर सफरिंग ओके symptom misguides us but sign give us complete information about the presence of a particular disease that is the difference between sign and symptom ye difference hai sign aur symptom ke beech mein now next one define the word vector what does the word vector means yes anyone already we people have completed the chapter many times what is how what is the definition of the term vector when disease causing agent are called vector disease causing agent arushi disease transmitted to unhealthy person to healthy person yes these are those agent which are transmitting the a uh, pathogens from unhealthy person or we can say from the diseased person to the person who is disease free means uh, the transmitting agents these are okay these are those organism which transfer the disease causing pathogen from infected person to healthy person that is the definition of vector ye wo agents hain do disease causing micro organism jo hai usko infected person se healthy person mein le jate hain Okay, na. And um, when we are talking about disease-causing agents, then the, the disease-causing agents are microorganism or the pathogens. Pathogens, जो है वो disease को cause करते हैं, जबकि disease को एक जगह से disease-causing agents को यानी कि uh, pathogens को एक जगह से दूसरे जगह जो ले जाते हैं, उनको कहते हैं vector. So if we are talking about the disease malaria, then uh, the pathogen is plasmodium and फीमेल एनोफ्लीज मॉस्किटो इज द वेक्टर वेक्टर कौन हो जाएगा फीमेल एनोफ्लीज मॉस्किटो मीन्स इट इज कैरिंग द पैथोजन दैट इज द प्लाज्मोडियम फ्रॉम इन्फेक्टेड पर्सन टू हेल्थी पर्सन सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पैथोजन एंड वैक्टर पैथोजन इज डिजीज कॉजिंग एजेंट एंड वैक्टर दे ट्रांसमिट दट पैथोजन फ्रॉम इन्फेक्टेड पर्सन टू हेल्थी पर्सन नाउ इट इज क्लियर टू यू ऑल ये क्लियर है Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, so, ma'am. Uh, this is the difference between uh, pathogen and vector. 
now then we people are talking about organ specific and tissue specific now i want to know from you people that when we are talking about the place of entry if the place of entry is our mouth then the microorganism will go and infect our which body part kaun se body part ko microorganism infect karenge stomach liver it is yes very good stomach liver and intestine but this is not always the case sometime what we observe that there are some examples in which uh, some microorganism enter through the blood but it is going to infect the different organs say from mosquito bite one disease is there japanese encephalitis that is brain fever to mosquito bite the microorganism of this particular disease enter into our body that is the virus and it go and infect our brain okay so we cannot we do not say that always it is that it depend upon the place of entry of the microorganism okay hamesha hum log ye nahi keh sakte hain ki jis place se ghusa to wo jaake kisko target banayega क्योंकि जापानीज इंसेफेलाइटिस के केस में क्या देखते हैं कि इट इज एंटरिंग थ्रू मॉस्किटो बाइट द वायरस इज एंटरिंग थ्रू मॉस्किटो बाइट बट इट इज गोइंग टू इन्फेक्ट द ब्रेन ओके सो दिस इज रिगार्डिंग द ऑर्गन स्पेसिफिक एंड टिश्यू स्पेसिफिक मैनिफेस्टेशन नाउ नेक्स्ट व्हाट आर द टू वेज टू ट्रीट अ डिजीज दैट इज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट टू वेज टू ट्रीट अ डिजीज यस एनीवन What checking the, the microorganism or stopping the growth of microorganism reduce the effect of disease effect of disease ko reduce karenge and to kill the cause of disease or disease ke cause ko khatam kar denge okay so these are the two ways the principle of treatment next principle of prevention how we can prevent a disease two ways are there yes by taking vaccine 